So this time last week, I decided to have my first little play around with a no code app called Glide, which allows you to build dashboards and little apps. An entire week later, I have managed to build a brand new feature for the Unicorn Factory that I believe is going to take us to the next level. And in today's video, I'm going to show you all the things I've done. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey friends, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new feature that I created for my freelance marketplace, Unicorn Factory, which is a client dashboard. So a client dashboard has been a feature that has been on my radar for the Unicorn Factory for a while. But the main reason why I have left it until this week has been that it hasn't always been super clear what the best way is to implement a feature like that into my existing no code stack. So I went out and I researched a whole bunch of different tools to see what I could potentially add to the Webflow Airtable and Zapier stack. And I came across a tool called Glide that basically allows you to convert convert your Airtable bases or Google Sheets into apps or dashboards. So as you might know, there are a lot of different tools out there that allow you to create dashboards out of Airtable bases or Google Sheets. But the main reason why I decided to give Glide a try is actually because they have pretty fantastic no code tutorials. And whenever I learn a brand new tool, the way that I get familiar with the tool super fast is to just simply take a tutorial for a project and simply rebuild it. That is honestly the fastest way to get up to scratch with a particular no code tool and as soon as you have an idea of how everything works then it's a lot easier to build your own prototypes for whatever idea you have and so after building a practice app i decided to jump straight into building out the prototype for a client dashboard and one week later I am incredibly stoked with the progress that I've made. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the project and I'm going to show you how it all works. Okay, so whenever someone signs into the client dashboard, they will be redirected to their overview page where they'll get a high level overview of all of the most important things that they need to know about. So they'll see things like who the most recent freelancers are that they have reached out to. They will also have an overview of all of the job listings that they have on the Unicorn Factory. And they will also have an overview of all of the different freelancers that have reached out to them about the different projects that they have listed on the site. Now, the main reason why I wanted to create a client dashboard in the first place is to basically allow clients to give me feedbacks on how certain interactions went with different freelancers. And so what they can do now is they can actually provide direct feedback by simply clicking into the message and then simply letting us know how the interaction with a client or a freelancer win. And so they can click in here, they can tell us when their freelancer responded, they can basically rate them, and then they can tell us whether or not they ended up hiring them. And then they can also share some additional feedback if they want. Now, the cool thing about Glide is that this entire database is built off the back of Airtable, which I have already been using to basically power the Unicorn Factory, which means that as soon as a client provides feedback, it will automatically update my Airtable base to reflect those updates. So Another great thing about this dashboard being built off the top of my existing Airtable base is that if a client actually reached out to a freelancer in the past, they will still have access to all of these inquiries because they are stored in one of the tables that I've got set up inside of Airtable, which means that they'll be able to backdate all of the inquiries that they made all the way back to when they started. So a big request that I have received from customers that have used the Unicorn Factory to list their jobs over the last few years is just to give them a bit more control over basically their listing. And so up until this point, it's been very concierge-ish, meaning that it was actually someone who would basically help the client out. So if a client wanted to close their job listing, we would actually just do it manually. If they wanted us to follow up with different types of freelancers, we would have a virtual assistant that would basically facilitate all this and it absolutely did the trick but now with this setup they'll have a lot more control over their job listing so for example they'll be able to click into their job listing and really quickly get an overview of the amount of pa patrons that they've received in the last few days the amount of freelancers that we have notified about their particular job listing and how many intros we've made now what's cool about this is that as soon as freelancers start requesting introductions for a project that a client lists to our site the client will actually be able to jump into their profiles and have a little bit of an overview of all of the different things that a particular freelancer has done so they can check
check out their portfolio. They can see what other services they can offer and what their current availability is. And these are all of the things that um, clients have basically requested. And now with this dashboard, they can have it all. So another thing I wanted to do in regards to the job listings is to get feedback from clients how good of an introduction a particular freelancer was. And so whenever someone gets an introduction, they can simply jump in here and then give us feedback on how the um, introduction was. So you can basically tell us if the freelancer didn't reach out, if you hired them, if they were not a good fit, if you found someone else. And all of this information will then help us understand who we should be introducing to different clients. But not just that, it will also help us understand how we can help freelancers land more gigs by simply understanding how clients react to the conversations that they have with them. And so the next thing that I added just because it was easy enough and I was having a lot of fun with Glide is also an internal app version of our freelancer database. So you can simply find different freelancers. You can research them by name. You can research them by specific services and skills. So if you want to then check out a particular profile, you can jump in there. And now you can even just send them a message directly and it will automatically forward on all of that information to Airtable. And one of the things that I really love about this is because I've already got all of my workflows that forward on inquiries to freelancers set up in my automation tools, there's actually nothing additional I have to add on top of this. I can simply send this data from Glide to Airtable and then I can let my existing workflows take care of the rest. So overall, building this entire client dashboard took me about a week, but while I was working on my client dashboard, I also decided to revisit my existing freelancer dashboard to see what kind of improvements I can potentially make. Now, as some of you may know, my freelancer dashboard was created entirely using Webflow Airtable and member stack. So what we're looking at here was created inside of Webflow. The entire job board is in there and all of the functionality is basically powered through whatever automation tool I am using. And this here has absolutely done the trick. Freelancers can update their profiles. They can add and update portfolio items in here. And it has been absolutely fine. The only reason why I never recreated something like this for clients inside of Webflow with MemberStack is that occasionally you run into issues when you have conflicting user types inside of MemberStack. So for example, if a freelancer is also a client, it gets a little bit messy, which is why I always just decided to have the dashboard for freelancers only. But considering how well things were going with the client dashboard, I decided to have a little bit of a play around with a leads dashboard for freelancers. And so as you can expect, we got a little bit carried away. We deviated from the plan of only building a client dashboard and we also smashed out a new kind of freelancer dashboard. And so when you log in here, a freelancer will be able to come in, have an overview of the different things that are going on. For example, who the newest leads are. And typically what you can see here is the email address of the client, but for obvious reasons, I decided to hide it for this video, but you can jump in, you can see who your latest leads are. You can also get updates on the latest introductions that you've requested for job board listings. And you can also see the latest job boards that have been added that you are a good fit for. So again, one of the things that I really, really love about Glide is the fact that now freelancers can provide updates on how a certain inquiry went, and then they can just simply go ahead and update the status on how that particular conversation went with the client. And that again, helps us make the entire experience for both freelancers and clients a lot better because we're getting real time feedback from different freelancers and different clients. And so now once you have submitted your update, you will basically have a funnel with an overview of all of the leads that you've received as well as the different states that they are in based on your engagement with them. And so again, the member stack dashboard absolutely did the trick as a V1 for a freelancer dashboard, but there were just a lot of things that are technically not that easy with that particular setup. For example, the ability to get feedback from freelancers without you having to manually send them a link to a form that they can update. Now they can simply jump in here and manage their leads and introductions simply by clicking in there and basically providing feedback. They'll also be able to get a bit of an overview of the actual job. And so just the overall experience is just a lot smoother. It makes it a lot easier for freelancers to get even more value out of the platform. And so this is going to be a very serious upgrade to the Unicorn Factory.
So I added a few additional features because by this time it was Friday and I figured, you know what, why not just smash out the rest of the work. And so one of the things that you can do now is you can just request introductions to the job listings from directly inside of here. So you can just simply fill out all of the information, hit the submit button, and then that will automatically be sent to Airtable. And the cool thing is it will also automatically update in a freelancer's dashboard. You can also basically navigate your way around the freelancer job listings the way that it is inside of member stack um and so the overall process of setting this up was super smooth super easy to use clients uh, freelancers will also have an overview of all of the different um portfolio items that they've added they'll be able to control whether or not a particular portfolio item is visible and so again just another little bit of a step up in terms of the overall user experience and so in short, I am very stoked with how far I managed to get within a week with a brand new tool that until last week I had not even used. It definitely helped that I already have a good understanding of how Airtable works. And if you also have experience with Airtable interfaces, then I actually think that understanding how to set up these little apps in Glide is pretty straightforward. And so I am definitely gonna be diving deeper into Glide. I honestly think that this is one of the tools that has the potential to implement itself into my no code stack and before i leave i do want to quickly comment on what exactly this might mean for my webflow Airtable, zapier and member stack no code tools and one thing that i will say about it is that after having used glide for a week there are definitely a few little things that i feel are not as easy inside of glide but overall what i'm going to be doing next is letting clients use this letting freelancers use this and i'll give the feedback on how it all works and as soon as i know it might just become my go-to tool for building dashboards and little apps on top of my Airtable base overall super stoked with my first week with it um again i'll be making more videos about this in the future if you enjoyed this video then please smash the like button hit the subscribe button i'll leave a few links down below for you to check out glide and also how the unicorn factory created and other than that thank you so much for sticking around for the entire video and i'll see you back here for the next one